Hey yo, it's your boy Rama man, aka RTK, and today we are back with another banger. Bro. You guys seen the title? You guys seen the thumbnail? You guys know why we're here? You guys know what is about to go down? We in my room. It's kind of changed. You might, you guys might need a new room tour. I can't lie, cause it's changed a bit. But we got the sneaker wall behind me. A video you guys have been asking for. A video I made a long time ago, and I said, oh, if you guys get a certain amount of likes, I'll make this video, and I didn't end up doing it. Look, I'm sorry, man. Thank you guys for 3K subscribers. Thank you guys for 6.5K views on the room tour. Thank you guys for 100, almost 200 likes on that. If you haven't seen the room tour, make sure you guys go and watch that, and then come back and watch it. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. 100 likes is the goal. If you guys smash that, let me know in the comment section what videos you guys want, and I will make that for you. Rum the kid on socials. Make sure you guys add up. I'm doing too much waffling. I'm doing too much talking. I'm doing too much, you know, yibby abba, blah, blah, blah. So let's just get straight into this video, bro. We're gonna start with just the, the beaters, the regular, the dailies. First things first. Can't go wrong with the Air Force Ones. You guys can't really see how dirty these are. Look how dirty these are. As you guys can tell, these are my dailies. I wear these, you know, to go to the grocery store. I wear these to go just wherever. Any type of place, any location, any errand, anytime I need to go drive somewhere, that's why I wear these. That's why they're creased like this. I have like three pairs of these, right? These are the beater beaters, right? I got another pair in my car that I keep just in case I need them. And then I have another pair just outside. These probably shouldn't even be in here. These should be outside because these are just atrocious. I don't know why I'm carrying it so close to my face. Mm. Disgusting. All right, second sneaker in my collection. If you know what these are, if you know what these are, you're valid. These are motherfucking Kyrie's. I use these for basketball, okay? These are not shoes that I wear on a regular basis to, with fits and stuff. If you do that, you're a criminal. If you wear basketball shoes with a regular fit, you are a criminal. You deserve to be in jail. I rock these every time I hoop. These are pretty much my go-to hoop shoes when I'm gonna go hoop. I be rocking these, man. I be dunking on niggas in these. I be doing crazy shit in these. If you guys seen the takeovers, if you guys come to the takeovers, you guys know. I don't know if you guys can tell on the screen, but my lips are dry right now, bro. It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna use a quick paw paw. Give it a bit of must. Damn. Why does so much come out? Pause. The motherfucking Vans old schools. The bloodshot reds. Can't go wrong with these. Nothing too crazy. I don't really wear these. It's been a while. I've had these for like three years. Still in pretty good condition for the for the amount of time that I had them. Yeah, I don't really wear these, man. I can't lie. I probably wore them like 10 times my whole life, like his whole life. It's got like the cool little checkerboard print on the side as well. It's not like the normal van. I don't have too much to say about these. I'm pretty sure I got these for free. I think Koji King sent them to me. So shout out to Koji Kings. Up next, we got the motherfucking, you know what these are, the Yeezy slides. Can't go wrong with the Yeezy slides. These are my go-tos. So when I'm not wearing sneakers, I'm wearing these. Usually, if I go for a drive or something, I'll take these. I don't wear it when I'm driving because it's kind of uncomfortable. I don't know if I'm the only one when I wear slides, I take them off. I don't be driving with them on. It just feels mad uncomfortable. As you can tell from the sole, I be wearing these a lot. I got these for, I think it was 200. And yeah, I've had them for about a year and a half. And Kanye did his job with these. And they look good as well. So it's, it's just a W. Next up, we got the Uggs. If you guys don't have a pair of Uggs in your collection, go get some Uggs right now. Look at the inside of these. You guys can't see, but it's called Mink. Is that Mink? I think it's called Mink or Polar Bear. Polar Bear Fur, uh, Polar Bear Fur, or whatever it is inside this. Bear Fur, Polar Bear Fur, Mink, whatever you call it. It's comfortable. It's winter right now. I'm from Australia right now. It's winter. So when I be going outside, I can't, I can't be wearing regular shoes. I need to keep my ankles. I need to keep my feet warm. So that's when I be rocking these. I got these recently, probably like a month ago. And I really like them. They have not disappointed me. The bottoms, these are just like meant to be used indoors, but I wear them outdoors and they haven't, they haven't really caused me any issues. So it's a W all around. Next up, we have these starter sneakers, which were sent to me by Culture Kings as well. I don't know why I keep touching the bottom of these shoes because they're so dirty. Like every sneaker that I have in this collection, every sneaker that I'm about to show you, maybe besides one or two, I wear them. Unlike some people who just buy them to let it sit, I'm not that kind of guy. Every sneaker that I have that I buy, I wear because if you don't wear it, what are you doing? These are kind of hard. Culture Kings sent me these, so these were free as well, but they don't go wrong. I don't really wear it too common because this is cream. I don't, know if you, I don't know if the camera's picking up the color, but it's cream, so you can't wear it with everything, but 
it still works and that green it goes with a lot of fits so that's a dub now go right now like and subscribe right now if you haven't done already please go and do it you know up next we getting into the bit more of the spicy shoes as you guys can tell right here we got some rick owen ramones these are the vegan edition the vegan ramones they don't have the cow leather at the front, I barely wear these. I probably wore these like two, three times. Nothing too crazy. I think these were made in Italy or some shit. Yeah, these are just some foreign ass shoes. Like, I mean, everyone be rocking them now, but these are some designer ass shoes. Like these ain't cheap, bro. I think I paid like 1,300 or some shit like that for these. These are some hard ass sneakers and I should definitely wear them more, but I need to, you know, up my drip. I'll be rocking just track suits and shit. So I ain't got nothing crazy to wear to these. And soon, Soon we're gonna up our drip, you know what I'm saying? When the motion comes, when the subscribers come, we're gonna have the best drip in the game in Australia, you know what I'm saying? Next up, we got the motherfucking Red Thunders. Is that what these are called? I believe these are called the Red Thunders, you know what I'm saying, Jordan 4s. These are so hard, like, these are pretty much fresh. I don't think I've worn these yet. I don't think I've worn these yet. I don't know if the camera's picking up the color or anything like that properly. But these are probably like one of my favorite shoes in my collection. I love my Jordan 4s and every Jordan 4 that I have, I wear them all the time. These ones I don't wear as much. I bought these for 400, I believe, 400 Australian. They're mad uncomfortable though. That's one thing about Jordan 4s. I don't know if it's just me, but let me know in the comment section. Jordan 4s are pretty uncomfortable, I can't lie. W sneaker. There's not really too much to say about these besides the fact that they're clean, nothing too crazy. But uh, yeah. Man, next up, we got the motherfucking Jordan 4 Motorsports. This is definitely my favorite sneaker in my collection because blue is my favorite color. These shoes right here, they're just so like beautiful, man. The first time I saw them was Central C. He wore them with like a trap style fit or some shit. I seen it and I was like, yeah, I need to get this. And I can't lie, I copied his fit. I wore the trap style, everything. If you go on my Instagram, <laughs> same shit, bro. I have not seen many people with these, surprisingly, especially with, you know, like everyone rocking Jordan 4s now. You go outside, you 100% see someone rocking Jordan 4s. I swear to God, I'm not no trend nigga or whatever, but I've been rocking Jordan 4s before it was a trend. I promise you, I've been rocking this since like 2016, bro. I had the Pure Money 4s, I had the, the Black Royal Golds or whatever the fuck they're called. I had them for a long time before it was a trend. Wow. These are the Jordan 4 militaries. As you guys can tell, these are my da dailies pretty much. In terms of Jordan 4s, these are the ones that I wear like every day, pretty much. Cause you guys can tell, like look how dirty these are, bro. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. I'll be rocking these with pretty much all my fits. You know what I'm saying? Every day, like anything that I rock, I'll put these on, just chuck it on because it's just comfortable and like, it just looks good with everything. I got these for free from my bro Ski Yassin. He sent me these from OG Soul A. And shout out to him, man. I've been rocking these ever since. These are hard as fuck. No complaints. No. Hey, I'ma say it again. If you guys haven't subscribed and liked, go subscribe and like right now. Like go right now and do that shit, bro. Like I don't, I don't wanna ask you again. I don't have to ask you again. Go do that shit right then, now. Next up, we got the Jordan 4. Black cats. Everyone got a pair of these. I've had these since like 2020. Everyone would be rocking Jordan 4 black cats. I used to see it and I was like, damn, bro, like these shoes are hard. I need me these and I, I just want to cop them. And at that time, these bitches were expensive, bro. Like these bitches were damn near 1000 Australian. It was crazy, bro. Crazy times. These are really beat. Like, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but these are so beat. Like the suede is ripping off. Um, Like it's just beat as fuck. Cause I've had it since like 2020. And I've been wearing it for like three years straight. Like these were my dailies at one point. I was wearing these like every day. So these are really beat, but they still look good in, in, in some aspects. Um, as you can tell, the sole's pretty like worn out because of how much I wear it. But these are definitely one of my favorite sneakers that I have in my collection. I'm definitely gonna be copying another pair. So if you're a sneaker plug or anything like that, watching this video and you wanna send me out some sneakers, you want me to shut you out in a video, let me know and I'll definitely do that, you know what I'm saying? So send me out some black cats or you know, let me know what I want and I'll, you know what I'm saying? We, we can work a little something now. All right, man, next up, we got the motherfucking Uni Blue 4s. You guys are probably like, damn, bro, like, how many Jordans does this nigga have, bro? Like, how many Jordans does this nigga have? These, I find hard to rock, bro, like, they're very bright, they get dirty very easily and because of this suede material, whatever the fuck this is, it gets dirty and it's like so annoying to clean and shit. So I don't really be rocking these. These just be sitting. I probably wore these like a couple times. Nothing too crazy. But um, I do like these a lot. The color is really bright. I had these in 2K 
and they were just like one of my favorite sneakers so i just copped them they were pretty expensive i think they're like 420 or 440 um australian which is decent as you guys can tell jordan 4s are definitely like yo why are you watching yo give me some privacy gang all right man next up we got the motherfucking black royal jordan fours i believe that's what these are um it's got the tint of gold with the black and the white i've had these these are the ones that i was saying were my first jordan fours i've had these i got these from there's this sneaker show called the kick soul back in the day i don't know if it exists no anymore but i went to one of those and i got these and i got some pure money since then i was like yeah i want to be a motherfucking jordan forehead and since then i've been getting jordan four so at the time these weren't priced that bad i think i got these for like 140 um nothing too crazy but as you can tell these are old i've been wearing these rocking these all that shit um they're dusty the suede like it's dusty but i could probably sell these for a bit way more than i bought it for but uh it's just a sentimental thing so i've just been keeping it in my collection but you know i might let it go real soon so yeah but... all right man next up we got the jordan 6 or jordan 5s i think they're jordan 5s yeah we're gonna correct me if i'm wrong jordan 5 travis scott cactus jacks these ones are fucking fire i've worn these literally one time literally only one time i've worn these as you guys can see it's so fresh the reason why i got these was i have this 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 fit right here this fit right here is why i bought these just for this fit i was feeling one day i was like yeah i need i need you know i need something to go with this let me buy this shoe and i went and bought it it's probably one of the worst financial decisions in my life because i don't even wear these anymore but the fit went hard bro the, the photos went well so it was good it was worth i paid 600 and something for these bro they might be worth more they might be less now i don't know exactly but um these are some crazy sneakers i can't hold you bro like they're just heavy, like the heavy duty, some army shit. Um, but yeah, I fuck with these, man. Like overall, W's, man. All right, bruh. This next sneaker is a controversial one. I ain't gonna lie to you. We have the UNC Off-White Jordan 1s. Now, to my people, how does this look? Okay. Must I say, I did not pay for these. I got these for free. I have never worn these. I know these are reps. When I got sent them, I knew it was from a rep brand. They sent it to me to do some promo. I got the shoes and I fucking blocked them. I didn't do that promo. I just wanted the shoes. You guys tell me in the comment section how you guys feel about reps. But me personally, I don't know if I could wear reps, you know what I'm saying? If you guys want me to give these away in another video, let me know in the comment section. Uh, tell me how I, how you guys want me to give it away, you know what I'm saying? I'll actually give it away. I have the box, I have everything. It looks so legit. You could not tell me these are fake if you, like, it looks so legit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a guy that knows his sneakers, so. Yeah, these are valid, man. If you want me to give them away, let me know in the comment section, bro. All right, bro. Next up, we got the Off-White Universe. Whoa, what are these called? I believe these are the Off-White University Red Dunks. These were my first ever pair of dunks. These are also my go-tos. I wear these a lot, as you guys can tell, it's a bit creased. But I feel like dunks look really good when they're creased. These are probably my favorite dunks of all time. I paid almost one band for these, bro. How crazy is that? I don't know if it's just me, but why does everyone always ask about the tag and say, did you steal these? Like, do you not know what Off-White is? No, if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? If you know what these are, go to the comment section and say the name. Say the name of what dunks these are. These are the Strange Love Nike SB Dunks. Um, I believe that's what they're called. But these are fucking crazy, bro. Like, the detail on these uh, is insane. But this was probably one of my most stupidest purchases in my life. It was in 2021. I just got a fat paycheck and I wanted dunks. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get some strange love dunks. And guess what I did? I bought these for like 1.6K or some shit like that. How fucked is that? I don't even know how much these cost now. They might've gone down or up, but that was gonna be the most stupid shit I've ever done. I have worn these. They got a bit of dirt around here, but like I haven't even worn them that much. Like maybe three times. So this. This was a dumb purchase. I can't, I can't even lie, bro. They're very nice, man. I can't lie. Like I look at it and I'm just like, you know, like it's just a, just a nice sneaker to have, bro. A good piece of the collection. Last but not least of the sneakers we have, Bread 11 Highs. These are some OG sneakers. Like these are like the classical. Like back in the day, bro, back in like 011, bro, 012, everyone wanted these joints, bro. Like 
you should see on like TV and stuff, everyone wanted these joints. Like I used to watch a lot of American YouTubers. They all used to like rock these, bro. Like these were, this was the stuff back in the day. These are like size 13 and I'm a size 11 and a half to 12. But like they just fit mad big. I don't know why. It's a nice sneaker overall. You can, it's good to hoop in as well. I've hooped in these a couple times. It's not bad. I like the little carbon fiber they got here. That's just kind of cool. But um, I don't wear these. As you guys can tell, it's really, really dusty. It's just got hella dust on it because I don't wear it. It's been like years since I've worn these, but you can't go wrong with these, man. These, these are hard. If you know what these are, you are, you are a tough G. These right here are my football boots. These, I've, I've broken some ankles in these. I've scored some goals in these. I know they look new. I know they don't look touched and all, but bro, I'm a baller, bro. And trust me, these, these ain't no motherfucking academy boots. These ACC, you know what I'm saying? These ACC, these ain't no academy boots. I was um, balling a bit at the start of the year, back in like January, um, but you know, it's been a minute now. I ain't really touched these, so yeah, it's, it's just, it is what it is. You know, you get busy, you can't really keep up with stuff. But um, yeah, that's all of my shoes currently in my room at the moment. I do have a bit more coming, but if you guys want that, let me know in the comment section. I don't know how this video is gonna go. I don't know if you guys are gonna like it. I don't know if you guys are gonna mess with it, but if you do, let me know in the comment section. Let me know if you guys want some more videos. Please, please go to the comment and just tell me what you guys want. Cause it's really just, this is this is a, our connection now. This is a bond, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna be making videos together. I'm gonna be making videos for you guys and I want you guys to be excited. So I wanna give you guys what you want, what you guys want. So if, just let me know in the comment section. I'll do that shit for you guys, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, man, um, with that being said, it's your boy RTK. And it's been a pleasure to make this with you guys. It's been a pleasure. Thank you guys for enjoying my little sneak collection. But um, I'm going to catch y'all. Yeah.